Hi, Starseeds and family. How are you all doing today? Hope you all are having a great and blessed day. And I am also have another message for us from God today. So let me go ahead and pray and we'll get right into the message. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We reverence your holy name. We thank you for all your grace and your mercy that is made new to us every morning. We thank you for protecting us, for taking care of us. We thank you for your unconditional love. We thank you for your comfort and your compassion towards us. We thank you for giving us insight, for letting us know what we need to know and hearing what we need to hear. We appreciate all of your great wisdom and insight. We thank you for covering us with your blood. Let no evil come near us, not our dwelling. Giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into this message, sweet Holy Spirit. I ask that you speak through me now to give your word to your people so that you can encourage and uplift their hearts and let them know that they are on the right path. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, Starseeds, um, like, share, and subscribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all the new subscribers. We appreciate you very much. We thank you for wanting to be a part of our great community, Starseed community chosen ones, earth angels, um, light workers, healers. You all are all welcome here. So thank you for being a part. Um, so God has a message um, today for the, those of you all who have uh, twin flame soulmate connections. He wants to give you a update of what is going on. The energy has um, shifted indeed. All right, so um, yesterday I um, got a chance to finally go out to the lake and um, just, you know, decompress and relax, you know, connect with the nature, um, walk around, you know, barefoot in the grass and just unwind. And, um, when I arrived, when I was getting out of the car to um, get my um, lounge chair and my, um, you know, beach bag and everything, as soon as I got out of the car, I was met with a dragonfly, a couple of dragonflies, and also some butterflies. So the dragonflies, they like came up to me like, you know, there was like a few... Um, inches away from my face and um and I was like oh and I was kind of like jumped back a little bit and um so they were just like right there just like you know while I was getting all my stuff out of the car and like you know they was trying to tell me something or whatever and um and butterflies also pretty butterflies um that were yellow and black and so so then I went and found my little spot in the grass, you know, by the lake, and I'll send you all some pictures so you can see it. And um, so set up my, you know, little area and everything. And so then um, this bee came and just was just around me the whole time, would not, you know, get away from me. He was even trying to get some of my drink that I was drinking. I was like, what in the world is going on? So I'm looking around and, you know, at all the other people who were at the lake and nothing was bothering them. Just just me with the butterflies and dragonfly and, and the bee. So um, when I left to go home, I did, you know, look up the spiritual meaning of those, um, the dragonfly, the butterflies and the bees. So the dragonfly is like... Um, lightheartedness and and you know things come into light um and ch change and transformation 
And so, you know, the butterfly means um, change and transformation as well. Because, you know, it's a caterpillar and then it turns into the butterfly. And so a metamorphosis change. So we're going through a lot of changes and um, transformation now with this energy. And then also the B um, stands for good news coming to you. So I just wanted to share that with you all. And um, earlier when I was meditating, I um, I saw smoke like, um, so I what I got from it is what, you know how you're, when you're burning incense, the smoke from that, that's what I saw. And so I got up and um, burned some frankincense and myrrh and, um, you know, while I was meditating. And so maybe that is what God wants you all to do. Make sure you, whatever you burn to cleanse the energy from your space, um, sage or whatever you burn, he wants you to do that um, before you meditate and also, you know, when you feel like you need to clear the energy in your space. And then I also saw a vision of people like in a big arena, like just praising God with their hands lifted up high, um, like, you know, just thanking God for, you know, all the many blessings that they've received. All right. So I just wanted to um, share that with you all. And um, so let me go ahead and get into this message. Um, your divine partners are every everybody during this time is going through a lot of changes and transformations with this energy that we have going on. We have the new moon and cancer on Monday, on this past Monday. And, you know, that deals with, that's a water sign. So that's dealing with emotions and intuition. So you all should be receiving a lot of downloads, spiritual downloads from from God and your ancestors, spirit guides during this time and um yeah and so we have um venus retrograde in leo and venus deals with our love connections and also um our money financials um and also like beauty and aesthetics cosmetics and all of that type of stuff so with it being going retrograde is meaning like it's rewinding it's coming back to see like are have y'all been being true to yourselves in these, in these relationships um with what you've been doing with your money um your your cosmetics your beauty and all of that so so there's a lot of upheavals and towers falling and a lot going on but if you have um sowed good seeds you have nothing to worry about you are happy and free and receiving all your blessings now so um with everything is going on and everything that has happened your divine partners are pretty much kicking themselves um because they let you go they chose made a a hasty wrong decision concerning you Um, they're realizing now that you were the one with the heart of gold this whole time very um you know your heart chakra is very balanced you're um full of unconditional love compassion you are very empathetic you're emotionally balanced um you have your aura is very light and like serenity you um have a lot of gratitude you forgive easily and you have a lot of awareness and um you know good transformation and change and energy flow 
your heart chakra is in alignment. And so they are realizing that you were the heart of gold this whole time. Um, They couldn't see it before. They didn't see your worth because they were blinded by materialism, by they chose money over true love and um, made a very hasty, poor decisions that has caused them to be very unsuccessful in this season that we're in now. So they're deep in their thoughts and and a lot of them are isolated. Um, They are kicking themselves because they're realizing and they're very heartbroken as well that they um, chose karmic energies over you. A lot of them chose dark witches and gold digging whores over you and um, they were used and charmed by these karmic attachments they even gave their cup of love to these karmic attachments that did not deserve it but they tricked them out of it with their spell work that they were doing on them and also on you and your divine union to separate you all and keep you apart so now god has um been revealing who the chosen ones are, who the divine feminine and divine masculines are. Um, So a lot of times God will hide your worth from people just to test them to see how they're going to treat you or how they're going to act. And a lot of them fail their tests miserably. And they are in deep despair and suffering right now because of those hasty, poor decisions that they made. They didn't see God first before they dealt with people, places, and things. And um, so now they're reaping the consequences of those actions of not seeking God first. There's a um, scripture in Matthew 6 and 33 that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all of his righteousness, and all of these other things will be added unto you. So if they would have just saw God first to um, get, co- you know, get clear insight and directions on making decisions, then... God would have let them know that you were the the true divine feminine or divine masculine for them with the heart of gold and you also had a soul contract with them in the ethers that was destined and predestined by God for you to be with them and when he said when God says seek me first in all of my righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. They would have received the blessings, the money, the whatever they were looking for in these karmic attachments if they would have just sought God first. And so now they're realizing that they um, pretty much let the devil trick them out of their position. And it has brought some serious consequences and ramifications in their lives right now. Um, Because God has been revealing, giving them downloads that you you were the divine being. And now you are receiving your wish fulfillment, your blessings, and it's divine timing for you to receive it and they are suffering and in lack because they didn't wait they didn't see God first they didn't look into your value your your self-worth um and who you were to them they didn't do that 
so a lot of them are unemployed right now they need a job and they got involved with karmic attachments that trick them out of their blessing trick them out of their destiny and they lied to them and convinced them that you were not the one for them and that they were the blessing but the whole time they were the snake charming them out of their blessing and so so they're they've a lot of them have been caught up gotten caught up with karmic attachments that were doing shady business scamming people and that's why a lot of them have lost their jobs and are unemployed right now because they thought these karmic attachments <clears throat> were doing legit businesses but they were not it was scandal and shady and um scamming people out of their money and so now that has caused a lot of blocks and delays and slowness in their lives all of the spell work that they were doing on you all to block you stop you delay you and slow your money down and just slow your your success down now the the tables have turned and that is what that is what ha- is happening to them now and they realize that um these karmic attachments were just spending their money and using their money to invest in illegal scams and now since the table have tables have turned and they're re- reaping what they have sown and getting their karma a lot of them have lost their jobs they are unemployed and they can't even find a job they're searching but everybody is telling them no and so god is saying that they're realizing that you were the blessing the whole time but they betrayed you for money so you know uh judas he betrayed jesus in the Bible for 30 pieces of silver not gold 30 pieces of silver like bro like if you're going to betray somebody who you was pretending to love and to be their friend and all of that you could you should at least got 100 pieces of silver but you settled for 30 pieces of silver instead of gold so they're realizing that they're missing you all now you know um thinking about all of your memories and but also in deep thought about how they backstabbed you how much heart heartbreak and pain they caused um separation and loss this with their deception and lies and um for money which you were the blessing the whole time and they were going to have the success and wealth that they wanted if they would have stayed with you and sought God's counsel before they made these hasty poor decisions choosing money over true love so now they're realizing that a lot of things is coming to light during this season and they're realizing a lot realizing that These karmic attachments lied to them that they were liars. Pinocchio knows liars and tricked them into moving in with them. And they were narcissists. So a lot of them have found out the truth about these karmic attachments. And they are deeply heartbroken and they're leaving they're moving out um, from with them they're realizing that they're saying I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me 
and hindered my growth. So they're realizing that this this situation that they chose over you did not serve them. And then and so we're also in a in a season as well and this Venus um retrograde is asking everybody what do you need to release? And God has been telling us that this is a time to release every people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So everybody is, you know, having to take a look at themselves. And um, and go within. And, you know, really figure out what it is that they really want in their lives, in our lives right now, in our in our space. And a lot of you all are just like, you know what, like this week, you know, the energy has really shifted and you feel different. Like you, a lot of you all don't even want these twin flames soulmate connections back. Um, you're just like, hmm, I don't know about that. I like my peace. Um, um, I'm abundant. You know, my blessings are flowing now. Everything is picking up for me now. God is blessing me, giving me favor everywhere. When I come and when I go, um, things have really turned around for your lives. And you're just, you know, really trying to figure out, do you really want to, you know, deal with that situation again or forgive them if they can really come back from all that they did to you all and you all know you know what they did um individually like I don't know what they did but you all know and some of you all are just like I'm good (laughs) I'll just um wait for God to send me somebody else I'm at peace I don't want to deal with all of your issues and drama and situation that you got going on now unemployment and all of that so but some of you all are you know still willing to take them back but you know that's up to you because you hold the keys to the kingdom and you are going to be blessed with true love no matter what because that's what's written for you predestined for you it's time for you to have a treat something good someone good so you know seek God first before you deal with people places and things and he will not lead you in the wrong direction so you will have your insight of what you need to do about these situations so yeah so um they're realizing that you were the one with the heart of gold you were the blessing the whole time and they are deeply heartbroken and they betrayed you and now they're feeling betrayed by these karmic attachments that they chose over you and realizing that um, these attachments were gold diggers they were gossiping and trying to force a relationship on them with them and a lot of them are going to court based on something that they did on Facebook, maybe some scamming, um, stealing other people's money. And so, yeah. And also they're being investigated. The feds and private investigators are watching them concerning these crimes. And so there, a lot of people are finding themselves on the wrong side of the wheel for the, the seeds that they sold last year. Like, they were doing a lot of uh, spell work, just piling it up. God said they were working tirelessly, day and night, consistent, um, trying to steal this blessing from you. But, and, and it took a year for them to start receiving their karma. That's how much they were doing, how much they were pulling the string back, pulling, like, you know, like a bow and arrow. They was pulling that string way back, 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 back. And then now it's been let go. The arrow was going right back to them, a boomerang. And a lot of them thought that they were going to get away with it. And now they're shaking in their boots because they can't even handle 
the things that they sent out to you all, which is sad. But you were divinely guided and protected. They thought that you all were alone and that, you know, it was all of all of them ganging up on you, but you were alone. So they just, you know, knew that they had it in the bag that they were going to to defeat you. But they didn't know that you had divine bodyguards all around you and a whole host of 10,000 angels or more, ancestors, archangels, and the Holy Spirit fighting for you. But they didn't know that. They thought you was alone out here in these in these streets. No, ma'am, and no, sir. We're never alone. Our whole spirit team got our back at all times, every second of the day. So, but they're finding that out now. So, they thought they had it in the bag. They thought they was going to steal your bag. But no, you fumbled the bag. They fumbled their own bag, trying to, they sabotaged their own lives, trying to sabotage yours, to try to steal a blessing from you which is weird and crazy because God is the source. There is no shortage of resources. There's only a shortage of faith. So do not sell your soul for any resources on earth. It already belongs to us. God created the world for us. And he knew that we needed resources and tools to make it through and to live on this earth. So why would he cause you to have to sell your soul for the resources that he know you need? Can somebody make that make sense? So yes, there's no reason to be on demon time in this devil energy for the resources on earth. Because God has given them to us. All you have to do is ask and you shall receive. Ask, have faith, and you shall receive. God is the source. There is no shortage of resources. There is only a shortage of faith. All right, so um, that's what God wants you all to know. But you all are... Standing in your power, your cups are running over with new love, blessings, um, insight from from the Holy Spirit, um, happiness, joy, strength, empowerment, enlightenment, communication from the ethers, from the spirit realm, from your spirit guides, from your ancestors. You are in the flow. Receiving your abundance. And distancing yourselves from people, places, and things that no longer serves you. It is your time, star seeds, so enjoy your blessings. And that is all I have for you all today concerning the Twin Flame and Soulmate Connections update. I will talk to you all soon. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the all notification button so you can receive all of the uploads, the posts, and stories. And um, I love you all and God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourself and others right. Talk to you soon. Bye.